I've been in Tampa before to see Professor Eduardo. Uh, he moved to the U.S. 12 years ago. Before that, him and I, we used to teach classes together at the Gracie Barra Main School in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. This is my third time here uh, visiting, uh, training with him and teaching his students. Master Carlos has big plans uh, to Florida. Uh, the plan began in California. We made a very, very strong team there. After that, the focus went to Texas, and the focus now is in Florida. I would say over the next two to three years, the Grace Baja team that is already very strong here in that state uh, will be much stronger. We should see more schools opening. Uh, we should see the current schools uh, getting more professional, getting stronger, having more people training there. So, so it's a very exciting time uh, for us and for everyone inside Grace Baja. To be uh, solid in Jiu-Jitsu, you have to have a really good uh, base, the, the foundations of the art. Like Mr. Carlos always puts it, uh, you gotta think in your Jiu-Jitsu as if it was a, a tree. You have to have that solid, strong trunk. That trunk is the base. Once the trunk is solid, the branches will come naturally. Having a good base, uh, you're able to adapt to any situation. Having a good base, uh, your jiu-jitsu progresses uh, much faster and, and you do not plateau. You, your improvement is endless. Once you achieve your black belt rank, you, you need to persevere and to persevere, you need to understand the philosophy uh, uh, underneath the techniques. You need to be able to see more than just the technical aspect itself. You need to draw parallels between what happens on the mats and your life more than in any other belt, more in than you did in the white, blue, purple, and brown. Uh, simply because uh, at this point you're doing this for so long and it's not like you go on the mats and you see different techniques all the time or you learn new techniques all the time. It is important, important that you understand. Every time you go there, the, the experience is unique. There's so much learning, but uh, you need to have the proper lens in order to capture and to see and to understand that. MMA is contributing a lot to make Jiu Jitsu better. Uh, MMA is a great uh, test field for the technics and uh, Jiu Jitsu instructors the always do research. Uh, Jiu-Jitsu instructors are open-minded. They're always after uh, the best techniques. They identify what works and they bring it to their system. And uh, with the growth of MMA, it's just an amazing lab to all of us. Uh, one of my biggest enjoyments in watching the fights is to evaluate the techniques and to study, go back to the max the next day and, and practice new techniques that I see or study with my teammates what did not go right for one fighter or what was it that worked extremely well. So uh, the Jiu Jitsu community uh, celebrates very much uh, that boom of the MMA and that the contribution is being great to structures, to schools, to everyone involved with martial arts. We were uh, raised uh, into a 
system where it was always self-defense, stand up and ground. Uh, take myself, uh, for instance, I always enjoyed competition. I competed a lot on my teenagers. I competed on, on my 20s. I, I did eight times in the World Tournament Finals. I competed no gi, competed in MMA, but Messi Carlos always made a point that I had to train in self-defense, that I had to train in my stand -up. My training was never limited to the competition techniques. And uh, to be more specific, the way we balance that, we, inside the Gracie Barre schools, beginners practice 50% self-defense, 50% the sport. Advanced students, they practice 25% self-defense, 75% the sport. Black Belt Program students, we have one program that is 100% the sport, but we also have satellite programs like MMA, no gi, and condition. So it's a, a very well-rounded uh, program inside Gracie Barra, and I believe we have a really good balance. That's why you see at our schools, uh, Jiu-Jitsu for everyone, like we say. You see from the guy that is there to learn self-defense, uh, you see the kid that is there uh, uh, to defend himself against the bully, but you see world champions. Uh, black belts are competing in the biggest tournaments, all training in the same mats and all learning into the same system and program. These days, the students uh, receive a more precise information in a, a, a smaller amount of time. The science behind the Jiu-Jitsu training is a really good thing. Over the last years, some of the, the greatest minds into the, the art Stop it to study, break down the techniques, understanding what are the techniques that work best for beginners, what are the techniques that work best for advanced and black belt. Now, how do we structure that into a program, into classes where they will receive that information in the best manner? How to do that in a safe way? And that's why you see these days uh, guys like BJ Penn that went from white to the black belt in a faster time than, than other black belts uh, did in the past. And uh, other athletes that are not as well known as BJ, but they had a, a very fast uh, progress in Jiu Jitsu. So I think these days the students are very lucky. They have uh, uh, better classes than they had any other time, not to mention that they have more instructors. Uh, more professional schools than they had in any other time in the history of Jiu Jitsu. When you are getting ready to begin in Jiu Jitsu, make sure you visit the school you're planning on training a couple of times. If you have an opportunity, visit two or three different schools. Remember that uh, Jiu Jitsu is a lot about the people. It's a lot about the people you're gonna be training with. It's a lot about the people you're gonna be learning from. Jiu Jitsu is different than uh, surf, for instance. If the waves are good, you can go to the beach and you can surf. In Jiu Jitsu, you have to have the training partners. It's not as simple as having a good dojo, a big place, no. You have to have good people there. You, you need encouragement, uh, you, you need role models, you need friendship. So that's my advice. Make sure you train uh, with people that you identify yourselves with.